All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, presenting the challenger, Mystery. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it clear. Ready. Ready to fight. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Looking to land the right just out of range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. He throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Big hard punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh. These guys throwing early. Oh. 
try to establish that jab. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is getting cat. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. That was a thudding leg kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. It never looked this good. Lanza, glancing right hand. What a fantastic wrestling. Great takedown. Back to the feet now. The one-two punch is true. Well, missed on that one. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And that left hook landed on the button. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Throws the right hand there. Take down Lance. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots to the top. Been busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. Oh, big punch man. Beautiful leg kick throw. And he landed the right hand there. The right hand just misses. Right hand punch from the clinch. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. What a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. And there comes the separation now. Oh, beautiful job to get the takedown late in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle, and he knew he may have to wrestle early and often. And right now, this situation is often because he's, a, he's been attempting takedowns over and over again. He finally gets one as we get to the end of the round. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quick. Throwing those leg kicks, but you're not tying them properly. You have to work. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that Great previous fight. round. And with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop him. Yes, because he's always changing it up. The first time, it may be a high crotch injury. The second time, it may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his grounded pound. 
Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Beautiful strike. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, beautiful counter on the jab after blocking the strike. Nice job turning defense into offense for the longer fight. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Left hand punches the clinch. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move. A beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid it. And he gets the takedown. He gets the takedown and falls right into side control, exactly where he wants to be. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. And they both stand up. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, man. Jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Man, he's timing the shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. The right punches there. Big kick. And they separate. Back and forth we go! Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Slips the punch. Beautiful body. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, big elbow. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Right hook to the head blocked. Big body kick. Oh, good kicks there. Yeah, right here. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Beautiful fight. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50, because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage. Uh, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, right in the mount. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants 
stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was really good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, he's got the longer reach and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Kick land. And they separate. Oh, smaller tie here. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. So what he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, are what gets you submitted a lot of times. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. It's such a fast leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Left hand punch in the clinch. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Punch over the top. Punch to the body is blocked. You got to check these low leg kicks. Shot there. Inside, he's hit now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. That's a miss. Look at him whip his hip 
into that kick. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you got to wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop him. Big kick lands. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight, so accurate. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Single collar tie now. Right hand upstairs. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? What a punch. Big head kick. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. He engages in the single collar tie. Nice. And they clinch once again. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket in both landings. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Just misses there with the left. Big power shot there. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice kick. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Clean left punch followed by the right. Unable to land with that punch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Under two minutes to go in the round. Pretty good right hand. Real sneaky body kick. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Well, that's a good right hand. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Big kick. Nice shot inside by the champion. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Under a minute to go. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high. 
side, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big kick lands. Big leg kick lands. All right, single collar tie now. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Head kick lands. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Got the single collar tie. Just out of range with that right hand. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is underway, and both fighters Ready still look pretty fresh to me, Ready. DC. Maybe, maybe they're doing your sprint workouts during training camp or something. I mean, these guys are known. Oh, 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 over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent while he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Lands the right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. And they separate. That one's Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Nice. The guard lands the right hand. Beautiful punch. Nice leg kick. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, big elbow. Movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He 
is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level. Wow! You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Bruce Buffer has your Ladies official and decision. Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Mr. So Reed. there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands, a lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champ. He's got his knife.